Hi friends, welcome back to Cooking with Unditi. I'll have the complete recipe down in the description for you. This is a quick shortcut recipe and shout out to my friend CJ who shared it with me about 20 years ago. All right, you wanna start off with a hot skillet of one and a half stick of butter melted and then the local grocery store sells this blend here. It's basically just onions, bell peppers, celery, and garlic blend. You wanna cook those vegetables in the butter until they're translucent. Add one can of cream of mushroom soup. And I believe that's a 10 ounce can of soup. And I'm not from Louisiana, so please don't chew me out about this not being authentic. This is a, sh a shortcut recipe. All right, I have one cup of homemade chicken broth. I bought some chicken um, a couple of days ago and I just saved the broth. So that's one cup of homemade chicken broth. You can use whatever chicken broth you want. Just use one can. All right, you want to mix in your cream of mushroom soup and your chicken broth well with the vegetables and butter. All right, it's looking good. And if you're counting your calories or worried about fattening food, this is not the dish for you, okay? This is a down-home southern dish, so it's, it's savory, it's delicious. So don't worry about counting calories if you're going to eat this. All right, it's incorporated well. Let's see. Next, <clears throat> you want to go on and get your bag of crawfish tails. And make sure you get crawfish that says they're from Louisiana. All right. Do not rinse these or you're going to lose a lot of flavor. You want to dump the crawfish tails completely out of the bag into your cream of mushroom mixture. All right, giving them a gentle stir. And honestly, if I had two bags of crawfish on hand, I would have used two. Um, so this might feed three people. All right, next, and you guys know I use that W sauce for everything, about a half a tablespoon of W sauce. Um, and then add your seasoning. Sorry for the blur. I have an iPhone 8. I really need to upgrade and get a better camera. But I use just some Cajun seasoning, some garlic powder, a little cayenne. You put that cayenne pepper according to your preference. I didn't use too much of it. A little bit of salt and pepper, a little bit of thyme, and give it a nice little stir. All right, you want to squeeze a half of a lemon, fresh lemon, and then give a dash of your favorite hot sauce about a teaspoon to two teaspoons. Again, um, you can tweak this to make it fit your preference. Give it a little stir, it smells good. And although the mixture had garlic in, I'm going to do about a teaspoon of garlic paste. And you can find that at your local grocery store. All right. Now the thing about this dish, you want it to smother just a little bit, simmer a little bit with the lid on top for about eight to 10 minutes. And this is why it's a shortcut way. All right, the color, this is optional. I'm putting about a half a teaspoon of some browning sauce because traditional etouffee is a little bit darker than this. If you make it from scratch, you build a roux and you make it as dark as you like. So I put just a half a teaspoon of some browning sauce to give it that authentic color. Again, this is a shortcut recipe, okay? It takes all but 15, 20 minutes max to make this dish. Be sure and subscribe for me and hit like. And we're done. There we have it, served with some rice and enjoy. Let me know what did you think about this recipe. Aunt Didi's Shortcut Crawfish Etouffee. Peace.